Hello and welcome back to the iHeat YouTube channel. Today we're talking about the condensate pipes and how to defrost them. This is a common issue over winter and this will hopefully fix your boiler and you can do it yourself. Firstly, you need to locate your condensate pipe. This is commonly a white conduit pipe coming out from the bottom of your boiler to an external pipe that goes outside. In our case, we've got a Wiesman boiler, which is a gray flexi conduit pipe into a gray pipe that goes outside down to a drain. If this is covered in ice, it's a good chance the inside's icy too, which is stopping your boiler from working. If your boiler does not have one of these pipes coming from the bottom, you do not have a condensating boiler and this will not be your fix. You'll have to get one of our iHeat engineers out to check out the boiler and find the problem. Common error codes include the Worcester 227 error code, the Wiesman F4, ideal boilers will show flame failure and alpha boilers won't show anything at all. Let's fix this. First step is to boil a kettle and leave to 10 to 15 minutes to cool down. Then come outside and pour it up and down the pipe to make sure the ice is all melted. Be careful when pouring the kettle, this will be hot water and it can hurt, but also when it is on the floor, it can become very icy and a slip hazard. Once the ice is all melted and you've defrosted the condensate pipe, it is time to reset your boiler. This will hopefully fix your issue and that is all from us at iHeat. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.